that new building with a $154 million bond measure. And KEZI 9 News reporter Michael Severin is live in the studio to show us how this new committee has already raised thousands of dollars. Michael? Yeah, organizers for this political action committee, Equal Justice for All, say they have raised more than $22,000. And I spoke to one local law firm who contributed. Along with the contributions, Equal Justice for All has also received endorsements from members of the Eugene City Council, county commissioners, and the sheriff. Their website says a new courthouse would strengthen the justice system in the community by expanding programs. The law offices of Harang, Long, Gary Rudrick gave $1,000. Bill Gary of the law firm tells me a new courthouse is long overdue. The current courthouse, which I'm sure was fine when it was built, you know, almost a century ago, but uh, it is woefully outdated and it doesn't make the kind of statement about the the community's commitment to the criminal justice and civil justice system that we think is appropriate. So far, one of the largest contributors to the PAC is the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 280. Officials say they gave they gave ten thousand dollars. Some of the people behind the PAC include a local Oregon Liquor Control Commissioner and former Eugene School Board District member. Now, the PAC director says they're proud of the support they've gotten so far. Roger Cox says they have more than 40 endorsements from an eclectic group of supporters from the legal community, the sheriff, the business community, unions, environmental groups, and child advocates. The special election is set for May 21st. Live in studio, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI.